When Sim Shigaya moved back to his native Nigeria after 10 years of living in the United States, he saw an opportunity. We think that over the next five years, you're going to see African income levels rise very much the same way they rose in the early part of the 20th century in the United States. I think you're going to see that here over the next five, ten years. And we want to be a part of that. We want to spread our wings and ride that wind. Despite poverty, political and ethnic divisions, he believes the economic winds in Africa's most populous country are blowing in the right direction. Nigeria has been growing at an average of 7 percent over the past few years. It has an expanding middle class and more young consumers have disposable income. But it's not just income levels that are rising. From 2000 to 2010, the number of internet users rose from 200,000 to more than 40 million. The internet is, is as if not more a profound force than the printing press, than the steam engine, and it, it represents uh, a shift in, in the way society is structured and commerce is done. That's Faced with those statistics, Shigaya says starting an e-commerce business was a no-brainer. I got to participate in, I guess, what people call the dot-com, the first dot-com boom, and um, doing a lot of work there for, um, for online companies. And the, the Internet was really just changing the way people were doing business and, and, um, and even the way the society was structured in the States. And I, was, I think that, that influenced me greatly. So when Shigaya came back to Nigeria, he launched Conga.com. Conga is an online retailer that allows Nigerians to order someday anything they want from anywhere in the country where we'll be able to get it to them from, for a, in as little as 24 hours or at most three days. That's our promise to them. But even with an expanding economic landscape, delivering merchandise across the country quickly and efficiently would mean navigating Nigeria's physical landscape. A traffic choke challenge across crumbling roads that companies like Amazon.com rarely, if ever, face. In Nigeria, we don't have a functioning postal system in any real sense of the word. So Conga's greatest challenge has been to create that from scratch, a fleet of, of motorbikes and delivery men. We've had to build up systems for getting goods really anywhere in Lagos within 24 hours and anywhere in Nigeria within 72 hours and less, and, and that's a huge challenge. There are other challenges. Credit card usage is growing, but risks associated with online scams have kept Nigeria mainly an all-cash society. Only 10 percent of Conga's customers use credit cards. Either way, buying online is catching on. Do you ever regret coming back to Nigeria and starting your own business? No, not for a second. You will find that Nigeria is an amazing economic environment to do business. The margins are generally better than other parts of the world. And Conga is not alone. There are more than 70 online retailers in Nigeria selling everything from books, food, and shoes to even used cars. Shigaya says he welcomes the competition. And Nigerians likely do as well because it means competitive pricing. And when it comes to shopping, like everyone else, Nigerians love a good deal. But the, the immediate sort of objective is to give the Nigerian customer the best price, the best convenience, the best selection of goods that anybody else can give them in Nigeria, whether they're online or offline. And you go on conga.com, you find this Panasonic blender, you order it. We'll call you to verify, because also in this part of the country, sorry, in this part of the world, people want that human contact. You need to build trust with people. And then as soon as they check that you indeed want this good, in a few minutes, really, there's somebody in the warehouse that's running around to pick that item for you. Shigaya employs 70 people, up from 10 just four months ago. He says that comes from growing customer demand. But while the company is expanding, he knows that his country still has challenges. Unemployment and grinding poverty remain major issues, with more than 20 percent of the population jobless. That number is even higher for young people, driving crime and discontent. All problems that threaten much more than his company's future. We were under no illusions that this was a one, two or three year journey. We knew that this is a this is going to be a very long road to build out this system that we think we owe Nigerians to build out, to allow them to consume with dignity and sustainably. I'm not saying that what we're doing is altruistic by any means. We're a business. But I think also what we're doing is building our country. It's that kind of thinking, Shigaya says, that has fueled the growth of great companies and industries around the world. He's hoping to continue that trend in his home country. Vladimir Dutier, CNN, Lagos.